Hi guys, welcome back to Dark Souls. I've just had a cigarette, so I'm kind of out of the loop. Fucking hell, I hope that I can continue to play to the same glorious standard. Not even being big-headed, this is going really well. Uh, we're about to ring the second Bell of Awakening. We're going to go visit Quailana, simply so that we can get the bonfire for warping later. And then we're going to head up to Sen's Fortress and deal with that. Oh man, Sen's Fortress is actually my favourite area of the game. And uh, it might be an embarrassing problem if I get hit by anything in there. So you'll uh, you'll have to forgive me. Anyway, this this cutscene I think is actually pretty cool. Like I know that I said in episode one that half the cutscenes in the game were done, and I really wasn't lying. I think there's a few more, but most of them are sort of boss cutscenes or just stuff like this, you know, little filler bits. It's a teaser for when I start doing Nez playthroughs, which I will start doing the second that I have a computer that doesn't overheat at the very suggestion of processing. Anyway. The first time I saw this, I was maybe 20 or 30 hours into the game, and I was just like, holy shit, because Sen's Fortress is always there, sort of looming near the Undead Parish, and you always see it, and it always has this sort of air of foreboding about it. Ah, uh, okay. Now, there is... where is it? Ah, there it is. An illusory wall here. Fuck knows how anyone's ever supposed to know about that. Yeah, I'm a new servant. Let me in. Ah, no better. This guy here actually sells a couple of uh, pretty cool pyromancies. And, uh, well, I said that I'd talk about Quelag's backstory, so I would. As I said, uh, Quelag is a mutated daughter of uh, the Witch of Isolith. And so is Quelana. Now, you can't understand her without a specific item, but... She's dying, and the reason that Quailag actually attacks people is simply so that she can feed her humanity to her dying sister, so that uh, she doesn't choke to death near the demon ruins. Which, I don't know, it kind of... Uh, yeah, I'll be back here later. It kind of seems like it... Uh, <laughs> it's almost a worthy reason to murder people. I don't know. I mean, people come down here, they, she's trying to stop you from having to deal with the demon ruins, and she acts as sort of a gatekeeper. I mean, there's precious few demons out on the overworld. There's the Taurus demon and the Capra demon, but I think that's really just about it. Which means that Quelag's sort of doing her job. Which means that I just killed someone who's not only a benevolent murderer, but who's also stopping demons from overrunning everything. Still, I've got my reasons. I had to go ring that bell. Couldn't have just asked her. Couldn't have talked to her. I mean, there was actually originally going to be dialogue with Quelag. It's uh, it's on the disc, and you can sort of find uh, videos of it online. But, I don't know. If it's not in the finished product, I don't consider it to be canon. And, the, like, there's a bunch of lore videos and stuff which cite it as... Oh god, here come the boulder dudes. They cite it as fact, and... Uh, I don't know, if it's not in the game, it's not in the game. Shit, mosquitoes. That guy's running at me. The frame rates dropped to about four. Oh my god, I fucking hate Blight Town. And that's why I skipped it. You can sue me if you don't like it. Please don't sue me, I'm very, very poor. Okay, so now we're going to use the lift that you saw me coming down earlier to return to Firelink. And then we're going to use the lifts there, that you saw me going down earlier, to uh, return to the Undead Parish, which is where the entrance to Sen's Fortress is. At which point we'll be dealing with snake men, and giants, and eventually the Iron Golem. Oh my. So let's get ourselves out of here. I'm just trying to think if there's anything else that I particularly need to do. I mean, I've got Quailana, which means that... When I have the Lord Vessel, I don't have to backtrack all the way through here. thats It's weird how much sort of effort I'm taking just to contrive reasons not to ever be in Blight Town. Fuck, that guy right there is a toxic sniper. He's another one of the enemies that doesn't respawn. But if he hits you, I think it's twice uh, with your base resistance stat. You get toxic, which is like poison, but instead of your health draining at the snail's pace, it goes really, really fucking quickly, and if you don't have moss, and you don't have enough esters to deal with it, 
that's pretty much it for you. You may as well homeward burn back to the bonfire and try again. I don't know, it's... It's a very classic RPG type thing. Like, you see it a lot in Generation 1 of Pokemon, where, you know, you'd be sprinting for... Okay, this guy's going to roar, so we can run straight past him. Man, I've got a lot of souls as well, actually. Whoop, no, you don't. Fuck, that was excellent. That was kind of like the Mighty Ducks. Lovely triple deke. Try eliminating one at a time. Try dashing through. I'm going to try the second, thanks. Hopefully, as well, these guys will follow me and uh, murder themselves trying to get across here. Now, you can actually get right the way down to the other end of the Valley of the Drakes just by wandering through uh, that sort of treacherous little ravine, but there is no reason for me to be there. Like, there's some pretty cool stuff, like the red tearstone ring, which is a lot like the blue tearstone ring, in that it activates at 30% health, but rather than boosting your defense, it boosts your attack. And for characters that want to sort of try one-shotting bosses, using power within and souped up sort of mega weapons, the red tearstone ring really is sort of a necessity, because in some cases it can nearly double your attack. At least I think that's true. If it's not true, then fuck it, leave a comment. Insult me. I don't, I don't even particularly mind. Lovely to get social interaction. Okay, so we're back here. And repair our equipment. Don't need the claymore, apparently. And let's level up. Uh, put a couple points in vitality. Uh, one in dex. Lovely. Now, the reason that I'm slowly leveling dex, even though I don't particularly need it for this character, is that at a certain point, uh, every statistic... Oh! Check it out. More of the followers of the Way of White, more clerics. Uh, every stat has something that'll boost, and dexterity eventually will boost up my movement speed. Ah, uh, man, later on I'm going to go back to the Under the Asylum using a skip that requires me to jump off this lift, and it's fucking terrifying. At least it was the first time I did it, now it's kind of pedestrian, but once you've done anything enough, it kind of becomes, like, normal. Like, you remember your first wank? It's kind of like that. And I was 14. It was great. Overshare. Lovely. Okay. Uh, just going to deal with this crossbow hollow. Slice. Slice. And Oh, no. I'm just going to stab. Okay. Another great thing that we're going to do before we try Sense Fortress is we are going to reinforce our drunk. <laughs> Which, once again, you remember your first wank? Nah, I... I that was, that was a bit too much. I'm so dreadfully sorry. Okay, now we're going to be doing that. I think... Yeah, I did get a large ember when I went down to the depths the first time. It's not another fucking repair box scenario where I got all cocky and I spent a bunch of souls. Nope, this actually makes perfect sense to me. Okay. Sense Fortress is through there. But first of all, let's go and see Andre. Now... Before the game was released, Andre of Astora was actually planned to have a far greater role. I don't know why they changed the idea, but he was going to be yeah. a relative of Lord Gwyn, and he was going to be fucking excellent. Anyway, let's get ourselves some Claymore reinforcement. Right, I don't have enough uh, shards. Can I purchase them from him? Yes, I can. If I just get... Let's just get three... Uh, but now we can... Holy shit, okay. <laughs> I'm gonna... Uh... Don't get yourself... Right, okay, I know no one wants to see me go hollow. Excellent. I think... That I'll have to... Yeah, okay. Brilliant. Thing. Sorry, I'm really beginning to flag. I haven't eaten yet. And it's it's all just a big to do. Like this game's very stressful. Like, it's difficult to explain if you haven't played it. Oh my god, I need three. Okay. You know what? It's really, really worth it since this is the last blacksmith I'm going to see in a while, at least until the giant blacksmith in Alondo, which won't be until the next episode, so yeah, yeah, I'll do it. Uh, purchase item. We needed three of these. Holy shit, I don't think I... Oh my god, do I have enough souls? 
Nope, I need 400 soul. <laughs> Shit. This is, this is Let's Play Gold. Lovely to look at menus. Okay. I think, actually, I should be able to get to plus six now. Because, yeah, now I can modify the equipment. There we go, Claymore plus six. Beautiful. This is now confirmed to be the weapon that I'm going to be using for the rest of the run. Like, I know I have enough strength to use the Zweihander, but now that I've started to invest materials as well. I don't know, it just... <sighs> this is my sword. I'm going to call him Swordy. Sworded. Sworded. That's a that's a pun. That's a play on words. Excellent. Okay, there's a pressure plate there. Sen's Fortress, as I've said before, is a mistranslation. Sen isn't actually a dude in the game. Uh, what it actually means is the Fortress of a Thousand Traps. Which is fairly fitting, as you'll see the second I go, ah, no, no, not today. Look at these fucks. Holy shit. No. No. Oh, you're actually joking. That's death two of the run. Death two. <laughs> it's the fucking regular mobs. Okay. What I'm going to do is I'm going to go, I'm going to grab my stuff, and I'm going to homeward bone back just so that I don't have to do the little run. <laughs> I'm going to return to human, because, I don't know, I just, I much prefer being in human, just because, well, one, it enables invasions, which are great fun for you guys to watch, even though it's only happened once and he got completely fucked by the Hellkite Drake. And, I don't know, I just, I just prefer it, because, look, I'm all red and disgusting. Ugh. Fuck, it's imposing. Uh, just trying to think. I'll need to talk to Siegmeier of Catalina when I'm in there as well. Just purely because uh, I forgot to talk to him when I was here earlier. Which means that he won't uh, move to Anolondo. And once he moves to Anolondo, you can get a miracle. Actually, wait, no, I'm not doing a faith build, so that's pointless. Fuck Siegmeier, I guess. I mean, uh, he's one of the quest lines that sort of permeates the entire game. There's uh, there's various NPCs that once you trigger them in one place, they'll move to another, and then you need to help them there, and then they'll move to another. And eventually, you'll end up with like gear or some <gasps> fucking hell. Where did he come from? Okay. I just saw a summon sign, so I think I might. This is a bit much. This, uh... Is this happening? Is this fucking happening? Okay, cool. YOLO, I guess. <laughs> fucking hell. Okay, so that's three deaths. Maybe... I don't know. I put a counter in, but I'm lazy. Not gonna happen. Fuck! This is an embarrassment. Okay. Pop of humanity. Reverse your hollowing. Okay, this is this is the one, guys. This is the one. Look at him reviving the human like a fucking scrub. <sighs> Just goes to show that no matter how much time you put in, no matter how good you think you are, no matter what a cocky little shit you've been for the last six episodes. All it takes is one thing. Okay. Aggroed. Use the trap. Snipe, snipe, snipe. It's one down. Fucking hell, he jumps far. Okay. We're back to what we were doing in the first couple episodes, which is just completely cheaping things out. Okay, I'm surprised that that 84 damage I did didn't stagger him, but whatever. Stab him in the asshole. That's fine. Okay, should we summon this dude? Yeah, fuck it. It's been a while since we had a phantom with us. In he comes. He's using the black leather set. In fact, he's doing nearly a thief cosplay. He's not using the right shield or the right weapon, but... I don't know, like, the the thieves in the lower end of bird, they use the, uh, the bandit's knife, which just... It's thief starter gear is not very good. Anyway, he should be here any moment. Unless, of course, we see the ever 
present summoning failed. Brilliant, there he is. Okay. Let's, uh... I'm real friendly. Yeah, there we go. Nice little hug. Okay, in we go. <laughs> right, now that we've actually got through the first fucking room of Sen's Fortress, let's, uh... Let's go make this happen. Dodge that. Parry, repost. There you go, buddy. You can deal with him. Uh, should I deal with... No, I think I've got the Master Key, so I don't need to do the Crestfallen Merchant. That means nothing if you haven't played Dark Souls. That's more of a mental note for me than anything else. Come on. Oh, you son of a... There should be a large Titan at Shard in here, I think. There we go. Two of them. Lovely. <laughs> like I said, Fortress of a Thousand Traps. I really like this guy here as well, just chilling out. Okay, and... Boulder! <laughs> God. That makes me laugh every time. Uh, my favourite ring in the... What the... Usually that sweeps them right off the end. This is not my fucking day. I mean, I'm chugging Estus like a moron here. And slice upwards, down he goes. Brilliant, okay. There was two boulders? I don't know, this game's still kind of fucked. <laughs> like, as much like... It's two boulders every time. This is really fucking strange. I've never seen this before. Okay. Now we're in here because my favourite ring of the game is in here. This is the Ring of Steel Protection. And this allows me to wear basically whatever armour I like. And it always boosts your physical defence. Okay. I'm just going to get a time check real quick. Breaking the fourth wall. Shit, not much time. Guess this episode's gonna last as long as it lasts. <laughs> I can't believe I died. Like, but well, obviously I I can't. Yeah, okay, I can't believe it. But I can't help but wish that it hadn't happened. Cool! <laughs> okay. So they've, they've now changed the boulders, which means that we can now dash. We can do the patented boulder dash. Fuck! Little jump! And now we reconfigure where the boulders go, so that it helps our phantom dude. Or not. Okay. I love this game. I love it so much. Fuck. The number of times I've been knocked off here as well, just out of cockiness. No! Should we call it? You know what? I'm gonna call this episode my, uh, my first failure. I am so sorry, guys. I've let you down, I've let myself down, I've let the team down. Thanks for watching. I've been Toby from the Killerheads, and I fucking suck at Dark Souls. If you like us, don't forget that you can always follow us on Twitter at @thekillerbits, and we've got Facebook, which is facebook.com forward slash thekillerbits. Look at my disgusting hollowed face. I've saddened myself. Bye.